Hi, I'm Michelle. Thanks for joining us today for the part three of the 10 part Hit for Strength and Weight Loss series. Today is our core strength day, so get ready because we're about to burn some calories. If you can't join us right now, make sure you save this workout to your watch later list. All right, let our core strength day begin. So what we're doing is we're doing two groups, three exercises a piece, running through them each for a minute. But make sure we remember our first three exercises because we'll be doing it again. So our first exercise is leg lift. So this is an ab core only day. So all you'll need is your yoga mat and to lie on the floor. All right, so our first exercise is leg lifts. So throughout this whole entire workout, if our back is on the floor, what I want us to do is, do you see how there's an arc? I want us to eliminate this arc completely. So we wanna keep our back flat so we cannot get even like a finger under us. All right, so the first move is our leg lift. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our back flat and put your arms flat as well and come up. Try not to put your hands under your butt because that will make it easier and it will take a little off of your core. So the focus is on our core and we wanna focus on that. So try to keep your hands away from your butt at all times. And remember, we're doing each exercise for a minute and we're gonna begin. And breathing, trying to keep that back flat. Our core is gonna be tight. And if we feel that our back is coming up, what I want you to do is I want you to go like not so low. So I don't want you to like feel like you have to touch the ground. I want you to go as low as possible before our back starts to come up. So wherever that may be for you, it's totally okay. <sighs> Breathe. And our next exercise that we're gonna do in a sec, rest is our plank. So I want you to turn around we want our elbows on the floor and right under our shoulders and come up. Keeping our feet together will make it harder. If you wanna make it a little easier, just spread out your legs. But I'm gonna keep my feet together. I'm gonna to keep my core tight. We're gonna kinda of like push our core up, keeping our back pretty flat head facing down, and the minute will begin. Make sure we are breathing. I know this is hard. It might feel like super, super challenging, but hang in there. If we need to, we can come on our knees and keep our core tight, but really try to push through, not relying on our knees up hang in there almost there almost there almost there come on guys breathe all right and rest all right and so now we're gonna go back on our back remember keeping our back flat we're gonna raise those legs and we're gonna reach up. We're gonna do this for a minute. Yep, keep going guys. Whew. I don't know about you, but my core already feels it. Almost there guys. Really reach. Keep that back flat, just let your shoulders come up. Yeah, almost there, and rest. Whew, all right, we completed the first round of our three exercises. 
Now on to the next set. So what we are doing is we are gonna do a side plank. 30 seconds on each side. And what I want you to do is I want you to keep your elbow in line with your shoulder. And we are going to keep our feet together and we're just going to raise up. Keeping that nice line and go. Remember 30 seconds on this side and then 30 seconds on the other. If you feel like this is too easy and you wanna make it more challenging, do little dips. But for now, I am just going to stay in the normal position. And if you feel like sticking your arm up in the air, helps by all means. And switch right away, no rest. Again, keeping that arm right under your shoulder, feet together. <sighs> Hang in there, guys. Only 30 seconds. And like I said, if you want a challenge, make sure we can do some dips. <sighs> yeah, hang in there. Like I said, put your arm up if you need to. Breathe. And come down and rest. All right, good job, guys. And now we are going into our bicycles, keeping that back flat, just letting our shoulders come up, tapping our elbow to our knees and switching, go. Keeping that back flat, just our shoulders lightly lifting off bringing that knee to the shoulders. Almost there, guys. Whew. I don't know about you. My core is feeling it already. Almost hanging there. And rest. All right. For our last exercise in this set, we are doing dead bug. So we wanna keep our knees at a 90 degree angle, arms up. And now this might be a little challenging because we're going opposite leg, opposite arm, and coming back in the middle. Opposite leg, opposite arm. If you feel like that's too challenging, what I want you to do is keep your arms straight. And I just want you to tap the ground with the legs. So we're not moving our arms. But if you're up for the challenge, let's start and opposite arm, opposite leg. Keeping that back as flat as possible. Feeling like if we need to reset ourselves at any time, just put everything down, move our body and get right back into it. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Nice, slow, and controlled. This isn't about how fast you can go, but how much control you have in your core. Keep going, we're almost through, almost there. Nice, good job guys, almost. Opposite arm, opposite leg, keeping that back flat and rest. All right, we just finished our last exercise in set two. I hope you remembered the first three because we're gonna go straight back into it and hammer it out. So let's go. We're starting with our leg lifts. Remember, keeping our back flat, legs up, hands by our side, not under our butt. And we're going for a minute. If you feel like you want a little challenge, just keep your hands up, that way we're not even tempted to put our hands under the butt and deep breaths, keeping that core tight and our back flat. Good job, guys. I know it's a lot, but we can do it. Keep hanging in there, breathing. Yeah, good job, guys. Almost there. 
Yep. Good job. And we are switching to our planks. So, shoulder width apart, either feet together or feet separated on our elbows. Tucking in that core. So, kind of like going up a little on our toes, making sure our butt's not in the air like this but we're tucked in, nice. Keep going, guys. Just one minute in this plank, we're almost there. Fix yourself if you need to. Remember, you can always drop to your knees, hang on a plank in this way, but try to hang on. We're almost there, guys. Whew. All right, and rest. All right, back to our back. Keeping that back flat, legs up. And remember, just slight shoulder lift. Yep, nice and easy. Just reaching up. Whew. Keep going, guys. Yep. If you need to stop at any point, just keep your leg up, reset yourself, and go. Whew. My core is feeling it. We're almost there. Whew. Hang in there, keeping that back foot. Remember, you need to set yourself, feel free, and go. All right, and rest. Whew, all right, quick 10 second rest. Come up. And we're off to our side plank, keeping feet together, shoulder and elbow in line and up. Remember, if it gets, if you want more of a challenge, start doing some dips. Hold this for 30 seconds. And if you feel like putting your arm in the air helps, feel free. I like just to lay my hand right on my hip. And switch. Whew. Almost there, guys. We're almost done. Breathe. Put that arm up if you need to. Yep, keep going. Almost there, almost there. And rest. All right, back on our back. Knees 90 degree angle. Hands behind our head. Knee to elbow. Keeping our back flat and just a tiny lift off the ground on our shoulders. Good job. Hang in there. We're almost there. After this, just one more exercise. So I know you can do it. Push through. We're so close. Remember, it's not as fast as you can go. Slow and controlled. Good job. And rest. All right, our last exercise. Remember, dead bug. So 90 degree, opposite arm, opposite leg, and go for a minute. If, like I said, it's too challenging, just put one leg down and then the other, keeping our arms straight but really try to push yourself and go for that opposite arm, opposite leg. Breathing, keeping that core tight, back flat. Slow and steady, guys. Slow 
and steady, nice and control. Almost there. For 10 more seconds. I know it burns, it's okay. Just push through and rest. Whew. All right, guys, you have successfully completed our core strength day. Whew. And just let your body relax. Deep breaths if you wanna stay laying down and just deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Deep breaths in and deep breaths out. And just lay there until you feel like getting up. But I'm so proud of you guys and thank you for joining. If you like this video and if you haven't already, make sure you download the Yoga Plus app for more videos like this. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth, available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.